Xenon Madison Creek, and at least uh, starting out this episode, I thought I'd try selling some silage, everyone. Emphasis on trying to sell some silage. Um, apparently, the sell point doesn't take silage, or I'm, I'm not sure, everyone. Uh, this is what the, the menu here identifies as the sell point for silage. We got silage uh, at Galt Bale, so I'm at uh, the Galt Co-op here, so tag the place, and... Oh, wow, okay, it... Uh, if we weren't sitting at it here, it would have uh, tagged it. But uh, yes, that uh, identifies as the sell point right there. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it takes uh, takes silage. So, and I did try the other sell points over there. I don't know if there's any other sell points around here that I know of. So yeah, don't know what's up with that one. Well, maybe uh, see what's off camera here. If I can uh, maybe find out where that sell point is or... Doesn't, I have no idea. It says it takes... Oh, you know what? I wonder if it probably takes silage in the bailed form. Uh, that's probably what it is, everyone. It's probably, it probably doesn't take loose silage, does it? Oh, well, so much for making some money that way. Just happened to think of that there. That's probably what the uh, probably what the answer is. So anyway, uh, speaking of money, everyone, yes, we're sitting at $91,000 here. We got money this episode. Probably won't last long. In fact, uh, probably by the end of this episode, I think we can spend all of it. Uh, in fact, we could probably spend all of it, uh, like, real quick if, we, uh, if we're not careful. In fact, we're probably not going to be careful, and we're going to spend all of it real quick. So anyway, um, yes, what else we got going on here? Double check the fields here. We got some uh, bale we need to finish up here. Uh, the cornfield is ready. We got a skate bale there, isn't it? Yes. And uh, yeah, cornfield, like I said, is ready. So hopefully, uh, hey, farm all sitting on a bale there, huh? Okay, let's just uh, slowly return back down to earth there. You back uh, going here again. Uh, since last episode finished up the harvesting, it doesn't quite look right. Whatever. I guess he's going on that line. Looked like he was on the other line when he was going, but whatever. I guess that one will uh, that one will work. And I believe the rake is over on the field here. Yet uh, did the rake be a niche? Or do I need to get the rate going here as well? Looks like I might need to get the rate. Yeah, I need to get the rate going here as well. Okay. Let's just uh, tell you, will nearest waypoint work? Or am I going to have to, like, get you lined up better? We'll find out. Kind of looks like that's working. Nope, that kind of does not look like that's working. Let's try that again. Eh, yeah, he's probably trying to go that way. Okay. Okay, right, there you go. Off you go. I uh, would like to get this uh, field replanted here yet this episode as well. If we can at least, uh, you know, start on it. Of course, we probably won't quite finish uh, replanting it, but at least uh, get started. Uh, this field doesn't need to be plowed or anything, does it? Uh, oh, it didn't need lime. Yes, it did need lime, if I remember correctly. Yep, does need lime on it. We've got some bales that are escaping here. That's rather interesting. Oh, and those bales are going to be a bit uh, fun to find, aren't they? Yeah, those bales are going to be real fun to find. Well, we got an auto load trail. I'm sure that can uh, pick them out of here. There's a bale around here somewhere. It's a little odd. Usually these uh, bales don't uh, roll like that, so I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, map says there's a bale. <laughs> I, I literally cannot see it. I mean, uh, oh, wait. It's a little further away, I guess. Okay, we gotta go a little further. There it is. Found it. Got it. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are soybeans, aren't they? Yeah, these aren't the regular bales. That's why they're rolling. Uh, for some reason, I'm on the straw bales, the hay bales, grass bales. They kind of stay put, but the soybean... And alfalfa and corn fodder bales, they, they're they just like rolling all over the place for some reason. I don't know why that is, but uh, anyway, that's, yeah. You go hunt those bales down, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I want to start with the uh, maybe the corn here this episode. We're going to plan on chopping that corn here again, everyone. So that's where some of the money is going to go. Uh, kind of looked at this here a while back. Uh, New Holland S2200 Chopper. I've got, it'll make our uh, chopping process much quicker. And that does have a hitch on the back, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, excellent. So we'll just, uh, white rims, huh? Or yellow rims. Yeah, we'll, we'll go white rims, I guess. Sure. Yeah, we'll buy that. Oh, uh, no GPS. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't good. Maybe we should put GPS on at least something. Uh, we'll probably have course play going on this or hired worker or something. Not sure yet. And then the header, way back at the end of the list there, four meter header. That's, what, three times bigger than our current header? So, wow, massive upgrade, everyone. Massive, massive upgrade there. Oh, is it going to start? It's going to start. Oh, it started.
Thought a little questionable there for a minute. And then... Oh, it's in the shed there, isn't it? Okay, yep. Go get our one and only forage box pulled out here. And we'll, uh, we're, we're going to demote our two-row pull-behind forage chopper. Actually, I guess we could technically probably run both of them, maybe? I don't know how we'd get that to work with force play, though. Yeah, I suppose we could get it to work if we wanted to. Might get a little complicated, though, so we're just going to... We'll just uh, set this one off to the side here for now. And figure out, is that the right disconnect point? It is. Hey, look at that. I actually got it right on the first try. Now, of course, a uh, question here is, will the uh, New Holland actually attach to this uh, trailer? That's always, of course, kind of a problem with these uh, choppers here. Their hitch type is, oh, hey, look at that. It does attach. Perfect. Okay, then, on to the next problem. Ooh, actually, like that lines up pretty good. Will the pipe actually unload into it? That, of course, is another problem yet with these uh, choppers. I mean, sometimes the uh, self-propelled choppers, I don't know, they just, certain trailers just, just don't work well for some reason. This uh, works pretty good. I mean, I'll probably uh, maybe get a look at getting a second uh, trailer. We'll, uh, we'll see what's here. Hmm. You appear to be having a slight altercation over there. We're going to start uh, chopping corn here first. Good sign that the uh, pipe is following the trail. That's a really good sign. Okay. Uh, I think we need to be on... Do we need to be on the chopper? Assuming we need to be on the chopper there to fire it up. That looks like that's the right one. Wow. Just get out here and admire this, everyone. Look at all them moving parts. That is, that is pretty cool. Okay, uh, the chain... Good to use a little help, I suppose. I believe that's possible to actually have that move using a scrolling uh, scrolling shader. Okay, I forget the exact name of it, but I'm pretty sure that's possible to actually have that look like it's moving, but oh well. The rest of that, yeah. That, look at that. Oh. Whoever uh, the mod author is behind this definitely uh, put some work in to get all those uh, parts moving. That is pretty cool. That's yeah, cool. Uh, before anyone asks, I have no idea where this uh, chopper came from. <laughs> no idea. I don't no, I don't think it's in the mod list. I wonder. I mean, you can check, but I have my doubts. Oh, wow. Even uh, both universal joints there going. Impressive. Cool. Yeah, I see those. Uh, looks like chains. I said chains. I would have thought they'd be belts. But anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it makes sense to be chains on here. Uh, I thought those chains would look better if they were moving somehow, but maybe that's not possible. Anyway, start chopping. Oh, good. We are at the correct stage for chopping. Okay. I rather thought we were. 100% sure, though. Like I said, it's kind of hard sometimes to tell what uh, stage of green it is at. That seems to work pretty good. Okay. We're just going to get uh, course play going on this uh, right away here. So, course generation. And this should go much quicker, I would think. Uh, running a self-propelled chopper rather than that uh, tool behind one. Horse play. Whoa, what, what's three and a half? Okay, salesperson cheated us. I mean, that's supposed to be four meters. It's heading the shop, wasn't it? And here it's three and a half. Okay, well, let's do... Let's do... How about eight headlamps? Plenty of room to turn around here. And we'll go ahead and uh, save that field. Actually, what field is this? Field 53. Let's uh, say field 53. 3.5 meter 3.5 meter chop. Drive the course. Uh, okay, was that not the first waypoint? Uh oh. Well, everyone, this was uh, looking like a great idea until uh, uh, bad argument uh, number two to minimum. Hmm. Well, how do you like that, everyone? And here I was admiring now all the moving parts and the mod author. Uh, I have to <clears throat> change our opinion on that one real quick here, everyone. Yeah, at least, uh, uh, of course, play everyone, at least in the 
some of the more recent versions here has apparently implemented some air checking. Uh, typically, in a scenario like this in the past, there's presumably, I'm just guessing here, something probably wrong with the mod, uh, whoa, that, that is causing course play to crash. Uh, in the past, this would probably cause your game to crash and burn on you. <clears throat> resulting in some very unhappy players, right? Unfortunately, course play has, uh, like I said, implemented some error checking, apparently. So rather than actually trying to run, now it'll just stop. It's, it's probably actually a good thing, because otherwise, like I said, the game probably would have crashed at this point. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's definitely some errors going on here. I don't know what the actual error is. It might be it's conflicting with something else that is possible. Always possible. It's not likely, but possible. Oh, it's going to work in nearest? Hey, that's going to work. Okay. No. That's weird. Why did he, like, try to work at nearest for a second there? Quit. No, oh, he's just going to stop again. Weird. Okay, well, uh, let's see once here. What do we got? Are we in plan B? What's plan? Uh, can we hire a worker? This uh, closed up here a minute. Uh, looks like the general consensus is no. Well, poop. No GPS, no course play, no hired workers. Uh, well, everyone, so much for that plan. Talk about a steaming pile of garbage. Forget what I said earlier about being a good-looking mod, everyone. I've changed my mind. The thing is a steaming pile of freaking garbage. And mod author should be ashamed of himself for releasing said garbage. Most likely, everyone, there is probably some very serious uh, errors in the XML. Um, you know what? Let's just go check this here. We kind of already talked. We already got errors in the log. Let's just go check and see what's here. At the shop, real quick. Not saying anything's necessarily wrong. Uh, the AI traffic collision, that course is always saying that. Like almost uh, selected combine to unload settings. Well, actually, what's going on there? I don't remember seeing that before. Is that. Uh... Nah, I guess it does it with that one too. Okay, maybe it always says that. Go ahead and put this rake away here a minute. Must have uh, switched around my fertilizer spreader and rake here. Normally I have the rake sitting where the fertilizer spreader is, and the fertilizer spreader is sitting over in the first door here, but... Oh well. Doesn't make a difference. Except for the fact I apparently can't back it up in here. There we go. Whoa, well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, boy. Well, when, yeah, what uh, what to do about the chopper there? That kind of uh, messes up my plans here for this episode of chopping silage. Well, chaff in this case, and making silage. Uh, of course, um, still kind of need to find a way to sell the silage as well. Probably most likely a placeable sell point, everyone, I guess. I don't know uh, what else we can do. I'll have to see once if we got any good uh, placeable sell points here. We can just uh, sell the silage. I think that'll probably be the best solution. We got a silage category here. What's under the silage category? Oh, that's just bales. Bale shredder. We can convert it back to loose. Okay, yeah, no, that doesn't sell it, does it? What do we got for sell points? Bale barn sell point. No, it's bale barn. Bale sell point. No, bale, no leveling. No leveling, huh? Bale sell point. It says bale, so I don't know if that would sell silage, loose silage or not. Square corn fodder bale stack. Yes, I do have these, by the way, and I've been meaning to kind of like try these. I haven't done so yet. There is a round bale version. I think there's a round bale version, right? Oh, maybe not. There's alfalfa version. I guess there's no round bale version of corn fodder or soybean, is there? Oh, well. Straw bar, nope. Lone oak spinnery, manure. Uh, Wilbach biogas. Tended to use the silage surplus or animal remains meaningful, huh? Well, I definitely don't have enough money to afford that, unfortunately. Not sure. It doesn't say, like, how fast it sells either. Sometimes some of these, everyone, they only sell, like, a few thousand liters. Okay, maybe a slight exaggeration there. They might sell a bit more than that. But, yeah, some of them sell it so slow. It's like, it, no. 
I want to sell it, go on with it, done with it. None of this uh, sells a little bit every hour, get a little bit of money. No, no, we just we want to straight up sell it. Placeable elevator sell point. Take silage. Okay, that might be just uh, like the ticket. $20,000, we can afford that. Actually, might, might, oh, we got a heating plant. Uh, yeah, I think that's another one that maybe, let's say that one only like takes a little bit at a time. Yeah, like I said, this uh, selling point over here looks like it's pretty good. Let's maybe just, oh, that's a big one too in it. Okay. Quick uh, run over by the other sell point here. We'll just uh, stick this down over here somewhere, hopefully. Wow. Makes this sell point look kind of small. <laughs> this was a big sell point. Okay. All uh, right. Fortunately, we got the place anywhere mod, and it'll just let us. Uh, do not, well, I don't, what do you mean I don't have enough money? Really? Uh, we need the help menu. Wow. I mean, it's got to terraform it that much. Is that the problem? Yeah, much cheaper on this side of the road, apparently. I got rotated around. Twenty thousand, right there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> there we go. That'll let us uh, sell the silage. Now, unfortunately, apparently, I still don't actually have a way of chopping said corn. Well, we can get the tow behind. I guess we're gonna have to get the tow behind everyone, because I mean, uh, this uh, this hunk of garbage isn't gonna work, is it? I mean, yeah. Uh, get out of here, hunk of garbage. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave that uh, steaming wreck over there. And, yeah, like I said, I don't think I have any other solution. I mean, we're going to get the tow behind one hooked back up here. I probably have a course plate course for this field already, I think. So, real quick here. I don't have any other, like, old-style choppers in here, do I, that we can, like, afford? Uh, no. Definitely not. Uh-uh. Looks a little older, but still too expensive. So, nope. 8,000, nope. Uh, that's the one we have. Ooh, no. Hmm, something with no wheels on it, apparently. Impressive. Okay, looks like a big fat uh, negative on that one. I do have a couple other uh, tow-behind choppers, but hey, we got a tow-behind chopper already, so uh, we'll pass on that one. I guess that would be an option. We could get another tow-behind chopper and have two... Tractors chopping. That is uh that is an option, I guess. Sounds a bit brutal if you ask me, but it's getting to the point I want maybe I like need to like test these mods out before I even try to use them on a video here. Uh I'm curious as to what the mod author uh, so seriously screwed up that doesn't even work with course play. Apparently something pretty bad. Okay, course generation will actually, what, do I have a course generated for this field 53? Yeah, I got that one. That's that's not going to work. Uh, 3.1. No, apparently I don't. Have I not? Maybe I have not chopped this field before. I mean, for some reason, I'm thinking I chopped this field before, but I must not have. Probably only been... The uh, smaller field 61 there. Well, we're going to chop it here this time. Or at least going to try to anyway. So, how many, uh, 50? Ooh, well, okay, we don't quite need 50. I'm thinking maybe 15? 15, that's going to give us a yeah, little over 20. Well, no, we might want more than that yet. How about 20? Give us 30 meters to work with. Let's try that. Oh, and then we also want to set... Uh, we're, we're uh, field center. Yes, racetrack. I forget which one. Was it racetrack that worked better? Racetrack or spiral. Let's try the racetrack one here. Can I generate force? Uh, oh, I need to look at the field. Yeah, there we go. Try that. Good take. Probably a minute to uh, generate this one. And wow. You know it's a good course when you can barely see the lines. Yep. Yeah. Well, looks like a course by course, I guess. 
uh, save that one. Field 53, 1.5 meter chop. Brutal. Gonna apparently take a moment to save it as well. Nope, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. And then we're gonna need to get some offsets set here as well. So, oh, does anyone remember what the offset was from the last time I used this? Because I don't. 2.5, uh, let's go a little less. 2.4. 2.3. Check it from a couple different angles here if we can. Looks like 2.3 looks pretty close. Okay. And then front to back, I think that was actually pretty close as well, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll just uh, leave that right there. I guess that looks like that should work. First waypoint, drive course. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. And remember, this one, everyone, you got to turn it on first. Because while this one works, everyone, you do have to turn it on course, but apparently does not know how to do that. Uh, that is something, too. I don't know if that's something wrong with the mod that's causing that, or of course, but just doesn't understand the whole concept of go behind forage chopper with that secondary head on it. That could very well be. Not sure. Okay, bailing tractor's done. Let's stop you. Get you off the field. Look at these bales picked up. I think that's a farmall tractor. Kind of hard to tell. Reminder, by the way, if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. And, of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that there as well. And if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, that information, as always, is, again, down below in the description there. Uh, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely. Follow the rules. Again, just uh, join us in on the RDL and TeamSpeak server. And, uh, yes, everyone, we do use uh, TeamSpeak here. Uh, we find uh, TeamSpeak to be far superior to uh, a Discord over on the RDL multiplayer servers. There's, of course, uh, one uh, one big advantage to uh, team speed. One big advantage. Okay, it's got some others, too, I suppose, but there's definitely one big one. Okay, yes, I probably should get the bales picked up first, shouldn't I? Definitely need to get the bales off that uh, cornfield there, too, before those get uh, uh, get into the chopper there. Okay, and for this, everyone, we're going to have to set this to 1.3 meter on the long trail. 1.3 meter round bales. Uh, again, there's all kinds of uh, stuff on this one. It takes a while to tap it. There we go. 1.1 meter, 1.3 meter long. Yes. And let's turn on the auto load. I'll have to use the map there to kind of find those bales that are in the cornfield. Looks like there's at least now three of them that are rolled into there now at this point. Oh, that's not going to, yeah, that's not going to auto load on the 1.3. That uh, bale actually turns out to be properly sized or set correctly or something. Actually loads with the proper 1.8 meter bale size, which is actually kind of annoying. Because, yeah, I can't pick that one up. Although, come to think of it, this is a bit annoying too. I mean, you can see how the bales are all like inside of each other. Makes for an interesting time unloading sometimes. Okay, yeah, see these bales because uh, now the draw distance. So, well, now I can't see them. End of the corn we go. Uh, there it is. There it is. And I know there's at least one more around here somewhere. Hunt for the bale. Hey, there it is. Found it. Okay, definitely a lot easier to find them when you got kind of a top-down view on it. I'm going to get this bale picked up while we're at it here, too, just a minute. We'll just put a strap across that one. By the way, I found out if you do not auto-load the bales on this trailer one, this truck cannot pull this uh, trailer with bales actually on it. Actual bales on it. Uh, you got to understand that when you auto load a bale, uh, it's not 
actually on the trailer. It's just a visual representation of the bale on there. So when you actually put an actual bale on there, well, let's just say the front end of this truck goes up, the rear end goes down, and you're not going anywhere. Maybe I'll go one or two, maybe, but <laughs> start putting too much more on that, then yes. Things get a little dicey. Yeah, I guess the plan is to save these bales, right? I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet, but... Got a mess of bales over here that I need to clean up sometime. Put these next to the corn fodder bales here. And we'll just uh, take this bale off as well. Oh, look, those bales just roll away. <laughs> okay. Yep, that'll work. You notice that when these uh, hay bales, again, these are sitting on a slope as well. They're not exactly uh, flat, and you don't see them uh, rolling down towards the sheep there. In fact, they're even uh, double stacked and everything, whereas these bales, <laughs> oh, I guess they stopped there. See, that one got in its way. Yep, they're kind of uh, rolling around a little bit. And yeah, we can just leave the truck back here for now. Good enough. Uh-oh. Is he stuck? Yes, he is stuck. Actually, I'm not sure. Is he, is he stuck? Not sure what he's stuck on. Doesn't look to be stuck on the tree. Now, he must have been uh, just uh, just enough there. Might have to keep an eye on that the rest of the way around as well, because, yeah, we get some trees going through here. Fortunately, I know there's a whole lot I can do about it. Well, I can move. Well, actually, you know what? I say I can remove the trees, but I bet you this little uh, snot right here can't be cut down. Just guessing. Looks like the same little bugger tree that's over on our hay field there that we can't get rid of. And yeah, like I said, the chainsaw's not, not picking up. And before anyone's like, well, go try. Oh, it's not even picking up that one. That's weird. I like maybe not own this? Maybe that's why. Well, no, wait a minute. That shouldn't matter. Pretty sure it lets me cut it down anyway. Oh, that one. See, uh, that one we can cut down. Oh, yeah. There's the there's the mode you want to see. Uh, the red mode. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's how you do uh, forestry. Oh, it tells me he's stuck again. Yep. Now, that one kind of makes sense if he's stuck on that one. Hopefully once he makes it around at least once here, and then it'll be uh, far enough from the trees. Uh, shouldn't have any problems. Oh boy, here we go again. Even I'm stuck now here. That one, there we go. Yeah, that one's definitely a little close. Okay. Get that front end over here. Might be a little bit missing right there because of that. Yep, there's definitely some missing. Stuck again, so it would appear so. Though I'm not sure on what this time. Gotta be careful if it doesn't actually fill up here. Nah, he's not full. Oh, you know what? The trailer's probably stuck. I bet you that's what it is. Yep, there we go. Might get stuck here again. Nope. Good on that one. Good on that one, I would think. I think we're all good through. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. What's this? Okay, we might not be good there. If he gets past that one, he should be able to go quite a ways. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're good now. He's uh, he's making it. Still don't quite have a trailer full yet, but we're getting close. So funny seeing that top EDO shaft uh, turning there on the wagon when it's uh, uh, not connected. And technically, at this point, it's not like we're unloading, so it doesn't need to be turning either, right? Come on. Get off the tree. Just 
slide that front end over. That front end does not want to slide over, does it? Okay, well, anyway, uh, unfortunately, this episode didn't quite go how I was uh, planning. Uh, typical mod problems, right? But we are chopping corn, so let's see once maybe uh, if we get a chance, I mean, we're going to look at maybe trying to fix that uh, chopper, see if we can figure out what the, the mod author vandalized on it. See if we get that actually up and running on this series, because I think that'd be a great chopper for the series. Uh, and I'd rather like have something that goes a little bit quicker than the tow behind here, because this is going to take a while. I'll have to see what's of course was any better at unloading too. I of course they would actually unload this uh, wagon properly. It'd be great. I mean, it would actually work out halfway decent. Um, I do actually have it unloaded. Of course, I don't actually have it loaded on at the moment. I should probably do that. But then, uh, of course, play once it's full, it can just drive over there, start unloading, and then, you know, drives back to the field, keeps on chopping. The only problem is, everyone, at least in the past, with the previous version of course play, course play would start to unload, and like, oh, hey, good, we're just going to keep on driving, and just unload, like, 5% and then leave. Other times, everyone, it would unload fully. So it's not like uh, course play didn't know to fully unload sometimes. It would do it. It would fully unload. But then other times when it would just like unload a couple percent, go back to the field. Oh, right away full again, of course. I mean, you're only going you only unload 5% of one. That doesn't, you know, take much to fill it back up again, right? So, yeah. Stupid course play being stupid again doesn't help. Anyway, like I said, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time.